There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Welcome back to Kids in the Kitchen. Today we've had an exciting time. I've been goofy all day. But actually we've had a great time working with the egg. Prior to the break, we made meringue cookies. And earlier in our show, we made a wonderful quiche. So now we'll be making one of America's favorite appetizers, deviled eggs. Sheila? Great. Well, the first thing you do when you make deviled eggs is you boil your, your hard boil your eggs. So we talked to you a little bit earlier in the show about hard boiling, and we actually have an egg that has been hard boiled. And so the first thing you have to do after you boil it is peel it. So Alex, why don't you go ahead and peel the egg? We've been working on peeling many eggs, as you see. <laughs> and Mike, you know, we were talking earlier in the show about misconceptions regarding boiling eggs. Right. Why, don't you, why don't you tell folks a little bit about how the pros do it? Right. So for instance, we call them hard-boiled eggs, but you really do not want to boil your eggs. Uh, the reason why is that they're two enemies of eggs, high temperature and overcooking, so you're cooking your egg too long. So to boil your egg, as Alex said earlier, you want to put them in a pot, a nice saucepan, cover them with water, about an inch, and then you want to bring your eggs to a boil, then turn off your flame. Let the eggs sit for about 12, 15 minutes, and then put them in an ice water bath. And that simply means putting some ice into your saucepan, turning on some cold water, letting them sit to cool down. Now we have an egg that we recently finished boiling, and so we're having Alex peel that egg while it was cold because it's easier to peel an egg when it's cold. One other thing you want to make sure is that you don't really want to boil your eggs because you'll get a nice green ring around that egg. That looks good. That green ring is because you've overcooked your egg and the sulfur in the white is mixing with the iron in the yellow and that creates a wonderful chemical reaction that changes the taste and color of your egg. Now Alex is done. Okay. And so now we all know the right way to boil eggs. So don't leave your eggs on the stove for an hour <laughs> boiling. Okay, so one of the deviled eggs are so simple because it just involves three or four ingredients if you're going to make it in a classic way. The egg yolk, which we have here, mm -hmm. mayonnaise, mustard, and relish. Now there's all other types of ways that you can make deviled eggs. You can add celery, you can add bacon, you can add cheese. So stuffing eggs is, is a practice that has gone on for centuries. But mm -hmm. today we're just going to make it home style, the southern way. And Alex is going to do it for us. So Alex, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some mayonnaise. Now I'm really just going to eyeball this recipe. The main thing that you need to know is mayonnaise is the key ingredient. So more mayonnaise to less of everything else okay and so we're going to mix mayonnaise that was probably about maybe three-fourths of a cup of mayonnaise mm -hmm. and we're going to do about two teaspoons of this is just a brown mustard and we're going to just do about mm, a tablespoon maybe two of relish not a lot now Alex you're going to use a fork and go ahead and just mix it up with your fork try to really crunch the egg yolks in there and mix it in good and you just kind of stir now the thing that makes deviled eggs um, a little bit different um, is one the eggs are already cooked so you're working with a cooked egg um, and also it does not have to be smooth I mean some people like them really creamy and smooth other people like them chunky Right. So it depends on kind of what you like. Yeah, I think the deviled egg, the wonderful thing about it is that it's simple to make, it's quick to make, it's inexpensive, everyone loves them, and it's a way you can really show off your creativity in adding and mixing ingredients that you like. So you can add crab meat or shrimp. I like mine, as Sheila would say, it tastes like potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the things you have to be careful of because some of the key ingredients that are in deviled eggs are also in potato salad, so you don't want to have potato salad deviled eggs. That's why we say more mayonnaise, less everything else. Okay, Alex, I'm just going to finish it up for you. You did a great job. And then what we're going to do is the last part of the deviled egg process, which is scooping it into our eggshells. And you know, the eggs make little boats, you know, the, the, the uh, yolk area. I'm also going to put in a little bit of pepper, and I think we're going to add just a little bit more mayonnaise, I mean, uh, mustard, okay. just to give it a little bit more of that yellow look now that we'll we also, all like. We'll also be dusting the deviled eggs with paprika. And today 
today we decided we're going to scoop them into the shells, but we also could be um, piping them into the shells. Okay, Alex, so Mike, why don't you start bringing some of our stuff out okay. while I have helped Alex start filling some of our eggs. Okay. So, for instance, what we have are our meringue cookies. And um, you'll notice that these are some that were made earlier. So we have similar to the ones we made on the show, which were chocolate. And we also have some straight almond meringues. And we wanted to unveil peach on camera. Pow! Doesn't that look good? I think that looks awesome. I can't wait to eat it. All right, well, Mike, why don't you start serving us up a plate while Alex and I finish. Okay. Now, like Mike has said, too, we're just going to garnish our deviled eggs. And I'll just do a few here for the camera because you see we're, we're expecting a big party, you know, today. <laughs> um, it just would put a, a little bit of paprika on just like that to give it just a little bit of a flair and you might want to add parsley or lettuce or something everyone does their own little thing with with deviled eggs so mike as soon as you serve up our quiche we will be ready to dig in and alex you and i can finish this up later okay okay the nice thing about the quiche is that it was a food that you can eat cold well, you, you can eat it warm it so we have the quiche heated to about uh room temperature and hopefully Mike will be able to get the quiche out of the pie. Here we go. Ready, Alex? Okay. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that looks really good. Alex. Want a fork to eat with that? Okay. <laughs> and Mike, I really like the way you displayed the cookies. I mean, you know, with eggs being a classic <coughs> Easter ingredient, you know, making a, a display it, it looks so perfect you can even use it for like a table display or you know i guess that would mean people would eat your, your table display that right? is you know, true. Right, you know. but you know with the um with the meringue cookies they are very sweet so people would not eat them a lot but they really do pair well with your classic peach. okay well let's all dig in i'm gonna okay. have a deviled egg i'm going to start with the quiche okay alex what did you start with? Quiche too? Okay. Okay. How's it going over there, Alice? You like it? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. Well, I'm going to save my cookie for later. Okay. For dessert. Well, you know, this has been a fantastic experience. <laughs> we are exuberant that you join us again today. And uh, on behalf of myself and our special guest, Alex. Yay, Alex. And Maika, thanks for joining us at Kids in the Kitchen. Have a great egg. Have a great egg day. Oh, thanks. It's We killed the egg. <laughs> 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 I like the Nintendo.